I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Pharisee and the Publican and Lutherans. That's the subject of the day's Higher Things Video Short. The Pharisee and the Publican parable was designed. It's like, mmm, yummy for Lutherans. We... We know how to do this parable. It fits right into our understanding of justification. You know the parable. A Pharisee and a tax collector. A religious person and an IRS agent. You can't get any worse than that. Go into a, a, a go into church. Sounds like a joke in the beginning, but stick with Jesus. The, Fer, the Pharisee goes to the front of the church and he begins to pray to God about how wonderful he is. God, I thank you. That, I, that I'm not like other men, like that dude over there, like that sinner. I fast, I pray, I do. My family's been Lutherans for years. Um, I thank you that I'm not like that guy, that sinner over there, the back. You know who that is. Can't believe they're even in church, God. You know what I'm saying? The, the tax collector in the back, that's where Lutherans normally sit, so far, so good. Beating their breast and saying, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess that I'm by nature sinful and unclean. Or uh, the text says, God be merciful to me, a sinner. The sinner goes home justified. The religious person doesn't. Now, how could it possibly go wrong for us Lutherans? Well, first of all, the sinner goes home justified by Jesus. And Jesus alone. He's the subject of the parable. He's the one who has mercy on sinners. See, the publican, the, the tax collector, only is saved because God is merciful to those who don't deserve mercy. And to those who despise others, they get the law. They get condemnation. Those who think themselves to be something are laid low, but those who are nothing before God, they're raised up... <laughs> Calvary and Easter much. They get heaven itself. But the problem comes in when this parable is sort of quickly done in turned into God be merciful to me a sinner. Thank God I'm not a Pharisee or a pietist or someone who despises the grace of God. You know, somebody who like takes the gospel and uses it to live um, the way they want to live. Thank God I'm not like other people that I'm not a Baptist, or or I don't think I justify myself. When I push someone else down in order to push myself up, that's when this parable goes wrong for me. When I make the focus myself and what's going on with me, when the, when the confession is just, well, a means to an end and not actual sin. When I think of my sins as sort of pedestrian, and, you know, not actually real sins, then I'm in real danger. And I need to have the law turn its turn on me and, and beat me to, well, the back of the church tax collector beating your breast. As soon as I look inside myself, I need to hear the law. But when there is nothing left for me, when my sins are more than pedestrian, when my when I when I seek to push myself up even against religious people, when I have, when I I understand that I am lost, then the Lord pours in the parable of the Pharisee and the publican, the tax collector, and makes it all gift to me. So it can be gift to me in order to knock me down, but it can be gift to me also to raise me up, depending on what the Lord and the Spirit needs to do with me. And that's why this parable was is wonderfully just meat and potatoes, potluck Lutheran for us. And one of should be one of our favorite parables. Because those who seek to justify themselves are laid low, and those who have no hope other than Jesus are raised up because he alone justifies. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.